Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to My Custom Life. My name is Trey. Today we're going to do a video of my extended EDC. Uh, I recently put a video out of my uh, primary EDC and I mentioned in that video that I had another uh, off-body EDC pack that I was going to do a review of, so today we're going to do that. This is the Maxpedition. This is the Beefy. They had, or no, no, I'm sorry, sorry. This is the Fatty. They do have the Beefy. I actually bought that one from my dad. I used to have the EDC pocket organizer, which is a little bit smaller than this. It's not as thick and they have many variations. If you want to go bigger, smaller, they got everything you need. So um, let's dive in and see what I'll have in here and I'll, and I'll show you what I got and how I got it set up. On the outside, I got a little pin. Uh, it's Precise V5 RT, just a little Walmart pin. I, I like these pins because they're gel and they got that real fine tip. I like those. I got this patch. This does not come with the pack. I actually got this off another uh, bug out bag I used to carry. So if you want this, you yeah, it's, it's separate. It doesn't come on the pack. But anyway, let's see what I got. All right. So to start off from this side, so get this side. I have my favorite little multi tool. This is the Gerber Dime. I have used and abused this thing. This thing is super handy. I mean, it's basically like a beefed up pair of tweezers, but uh, it definitely serves a really good purpose. I've, I've used this in probably some areas where it probably shouldn't have been used. It may not be designed for, but it did just fine. And uh, it's got a lot of good functions on it. It's got a pair of scissors. Uh, where are they at? This side, here we go. It's got a pair of scissors. On that side, this side, it has a 2D Phillips head with what they call a file on the back i don't know if you can see that that's probably not going to pick up in the camera but i don't see that being useful and then on the other side they have their i guess uh flat head could be a small light pry bar i guess if you wanted to use it for that and uh on the flip side they have this is their i guess from what i saw they call it a package opener or something of the sort and it definitely works for that i've used it for that many times and it works really well and on the other side of that they have their oh, main blade and um it's nice it's small i mean you can sharpen it it takes a good edge and on the other side they have their ex or exterior bottle opener cap lifter this thing works really well for um getting you know obviously popping bottles but uh i like it it works real well it's really robust works every time it doesn't slip and on this side right beside the bottle opener you got a little pair of tweezers kind of like a swiss army knife so that's cool i've used this thing so many times and it's it's still it's still holding up i will say when i first got it it was really good but the more i used it i think it's because like i said i used it on some stuff that shouldn't have probably been probably shouldn't have been used on but i had oh dropped it that I had to right there in the center the pivot I used the center punch and punched it so it could spread that metal out because it was starting to get real wobbly and uh, they're good to go now it's real nice and solid just like it was when it was brand new so I got that over here I'm just gonna set this off to the side got a little tire pressure gauge nothing fancy I got a little G2 mini gel pen these ones, I actually had to order these. I was, I saw that places like Walmart don't carry these. I've heard in the past that Staples carries the minis. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't been there, but that's what I've heard. I, I had to order these off Amazon. And then this is a little hyper tough uh, pocket screwdriver. I guess you'd call it on one side. It's got a smaller, not really precision Phillips head and flat head. Oh, get in the camera. Not really precision, but definitely a smaller, uh, smaller size. And on the flip side, it has the standard, standard size Phillips head and and uh, flat head as well. These work really well. I like carrying these because they're they're good in a pinch if that's all you need, and uh, easy to carry, super light. And then for my flashlight, this is going to be upgraded, but this is what I have in here right now, the Olight i3T EOS. Uh, two two modes. I can't remember. It's 180 lumens is the high output. I can't remember what the low out. I think it's 20 lumens. Correct, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I really can't remember. But um, 
this has worked really well. It's a, it's a triple A, triple A flash, uh, flashlights, non-rechargeable. I mean, I guess if you get the rechargeable batteries, you can do that, but it's not USB rechargeable, but it works for its intended purpose. I plan on getting maybe like an Olight, uh, M2R Warrior. I've always wanted one of those or something, of, something like that. Something a little bit brighter because 108, 108 lumens is pretty bright, but the flashlight I carry on my keychain is brighter than this. So if I'm going to carry an extended ADC, I want to carry something a lot brighter than my keychain light. And then this is my brass pry bar. This is something that I made out of, I had a big old hunk of brass and I didn't really know what to do with it. I was making some knives and thought about using it for like a guard or a pommel or something like that. But I just decided to make a little pry bar and uh i like it it works really well i didn't know if it would work or not it, the brass was work hardened because you can't heat treat it but you can work harden it and uh it's worked really well i've used it quite a few times and uh it patinas real nice i like it it's got real it's got a real good heft to it as well since it's solid brass it's got a real good weight to it okay on this side on the like the edc pocket organizer let me get that right edc pocket organizers and smaller models from what, from what I understand, both sides will be set up like this. On the bigger ones, it's set up one side like this, and one side is the opposite way, so you can, because it's a lot deeper, so you can store heavier or bigger things. Oh, and right here, there's a little pocket back here. I don't know if you can see that, little pocket. And back here, I carry these dupe wipes. And uh, they're real good for if you gotta go to, the, you know, I don't know what I'm saying, but if you are in a pinch, you gotta go to the bathroom, or if you need to wash your hands, wash your face, whatever, they're good for just about anything. And uh, okay, so let's see, on this side, I have my knife, which I have done a video over this. This is the, I'm sure a lot of you know, the Ontario Rat model number one. And this one is an OS8, not D2. I was hoping to get the D2 version, but I actually got this at Walmart on clearance for $15, so I couldn't complain. Even though it was all said, it was, you know, it was easily half off from what they had it marked at. But uh, I like the OD green scales. It's really, it's got a real good weight to it. It's real balanced. Yeah, I don't know what you think. Uh, I think it looks nice. Some people I've heard say this is not a very good looking knife, but... I can guarantee the ergonomics. If you got your if you got your hands on one, these ergo, ergos are amazing. The way they have it just just melts in your hand. This jimping back here is kind of like it's not regular jimping. It's kind of like reverse, like wave looking. And this it's it's aggressive enough to be very effective, but not super aggressive to where it kind of hurts your thumb. I like that about that. But anyway, this is a really good beater knife. I mean, if you if you're looking for something to just do whatever you know cut down boxes you know cut wood i've used this to dig holes in the dirt and and uh, put a new edge on it and it holds an edge for a while so i mean if you're looking for something to just use as a complete beater knife i don't think you could do better than one of these especially for if you get the d2 version you spend a little extra money but you get really good edge retention and you're still going to spend less than 50 bucks all right so the multi-tool i got there will be a new video or should have should have already been. Well, I don't know. Depending, I'm gonna have a video about, out about this either before this video or after this video. But this is the Gerber Center Drive. I used to have the Gerber Suspension NXT in here, and I replaced it with this one. I wanted to get something a little bit higher quality, a little bit more of an upgrade. And um, my local Walmart was actually carrying one of these. I was thinking about getting the Center Drive Plus. Or just getting off of Amazon or whatever, and I saw they were carrying these, so I went and picked one up. But um, it's got the I don't know what you call it, the stowaway jaws, where it's got this little button right here, and then you can hold it back here or whatever, and it just slides out. And uh, I like that; it's real nice. It has a uh, replaceable wire cutters. Mm, excuse me, replaceable wire cutters. Their claim to fame of the center drive is. This right here. The way this is angled is on the center axis, so when you use it, it's gonna act as if you were using a screwdriver, which that's nice. And then it has a full size knife, and the uh, I don't know what you call that sheep's foot, kind of. It's kind of what it looks like. It's not, not really a worn cliff, kind of like a sheep's foot style uh, blade. It's really nice, straight edge. I'm not a big fan of serrated edges, so I mean, I, I, I really like this blade, and it works very well. Sorry if I'm kind of, I got a new setup, like I said in my previous video, so I'm kind of trying to get used to the camera angle. 
not on all my videos it won't always, it won't always be set up this way it'll be set up in front of me on some of them but anyway those are the two exterior main tools and then on the inside it has a very beefy pry tool with a nail lifter and bottle opener get all the words right uh, it has a serrated blade or a saw i guess you could use it as that's probably what probably what they're going for it has an awl or a reamer and a file and this file is really aggressive i mean i can see this being very useful it has a cross cut file on this side on this side it has a i don't know if it's a second cut file or a finishing file but um both sides are very feel it feel like they, they would be very useful and when you pull them out this little spot right here if you pull it down it unlocks the tools so all these tools lock on the outside and on the inside and then over here you got a little extra spot to stow away an extra uh, bit and these are quarter inch bits so you can use if you have any standard bits you like to carry with you that are used the most then you know you can pop them in here and they'll be just fine and um, so that's the multi-tool i carry i'm going to do a whole review over it but uh, i got this little little notebook just standard real small pocket notebook i used to carry one of these on me they're handy and then there's a spare mag for the bodyguard 380 that I carry I had a video what well, should have a video out or will have a video out about that one and then I got this here recently there's a little beard comb uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name I don't know if you can see that I don't know if it's pronounced cramo cremo I don't know I don't know how it's pronounced let me know in the comments below uh, if you know but I like it because I like using this I don't have a lot of beard but I got enough where it is useful and uh, use this for the beard, and I can also use this because it's a lot wider. I can use it for combing my hair over or whatever if I want to do something. And then right here is a little zip pocket, and in there I carry a bunch of band aids. You can see in there, I won't get them all out because I got a bunch in there. And that's it. That's what I carry in here. Every now and then I'll carry a, um, I'll carry my shield, my Smith Wesson shield, and I carry my bodyguard in here. And then the beefy, which is the one I got from my father. It's a little bit bigger, and in other reviews I saw, you can actually carry a full-size Glock 19 um, if that's what you choose to do so. So those ones are a little bit bigger than this by, I think it's about an inch bigger in uh, width and length, or width and length. And um, these are really useful. I like it. It's a really nice material. It's very strong. And... Um, it's very useful. It's very utilitarian. I can use, you know, I got all this stuff in here and I can put more in there. There's still plenty of spaces where I can put more stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you carry something similar to this and what do you carry in it? Do you have it set up like a, like a first aid kit or like a bug out kit or is it set up kind of like this where it's just general EDC stuff? Uh, I'd, I'd be curious to know. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. And there will be more videos coming out like this if you have any info or any suggestions of videos that i should do or maybe some things i should do to improve the videos whether it be camera angle lighting audio whatever it be let me know i'd appreciate it and uh once again hope you enjoyed the video we'll see y'all soon love y'all bye